Okay, I don't know what this video is really going to be about, but I just wanted to update you guys so that you know that I'm still here, haven't died. I've just been posting, uh, you know, other content because, you know, we live in a crazy world. I don't want to scare people by posting certain content that they wasn't initially ready for. But, um, you know, I just think some things, there's a lot of things that we do need to know. And there's still so much to learn. It doesn't end at veganism. And it just doesn't end at veganism. I know it's tough enough for us, the way the world is, and how, you know, so many humans are corrupting other humans, enslaving animals, enslaving the planet itself. I know there's a lot going on in the world, but in my opinion, there's still more to learn. That's why I was posting uh, more political content, because as much as we want to try to act like all of our problems fall within our food choices, which most of our problems do stem from our food choices, but the thing is, there is an elite, an elitist group out there. Some people want to call it the Illuminati, some people want to call it the government, some people want to call it the uh, Freemasons, some people call it the Rockefellers. Um, really, it kind of is all of that. I mean, all those words, I, I just call it, I call it the government. There's not a big deal referring to these people as the Illuminati. I mean, and that's another thing. Somebody asked me about the Illuminati and what do I, what's my opinion on the Illuminati. I, do I believe it? Do I not believe it? What, what's the deal? I do believe that there is a higher elitist group out there, a secret organization, which really it's not a secret if everyone knows about it, right? But I, now they're coming out and they, it's almost like they don't really care if people know now, but what they're not going to do is expose themselves because they're trying to protect themselves, which is why they started building like these Noah arcs and stuff around the planet to protect themselves in case chaos breaks out. Um, I posted a video about that too. So you will be seeing some other content other than me. The thing is, I don't necessarily know what people want to see. I don't know what you want to see, what you don't want to see. People don't write to me like that. And it's crazy because I have 700 subscribers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know what this gesture is. I'm not religious. Um, but thank you. Where the hell 700 subscribers came from? But the thing is, when I post videos, I don't necessarily see these so-called 700 subscribers. I'm not saying I, I expect every single person to click on my videos. But why would you subscribe to me if you're not even going to watch my videos? Or if you're not going to like the videos? Because really, that's where the power is. The power is in the likes. It's all about the numbers. So, if you're subscribed to me, please try to support my work. And if you don't agree with it, then you could always just ignore it. Or why even subscribe in the first place? But I am kind. I'm. I'm still gonna talk about veganism. I'm still gonna talk about the plant-based lifestyle. Obviously, that's my entire life. That's 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 my life. When I wake up in the morning. What do I think about? I think about how my choices is going to affect somebody else. Whether that be through the clothes I wear, whether that be through the food I buy, whether that be through me helping an animal on the street, whether that be me walking my dogs, whether that be me defending my dogs or defending other animals who have no voice. So, I'm still... In that mindset, uh, that hasn't changed at all, and it won't be changing. If you notice, a lot of the content that I post is still in connection towards a conspiracy to pretty much screw over the people so that they, the people in power can stay in power and have it all. And can we just talk about that for a second? Like, what is that about? What is with these people? Because there are actual people in this... Hold on a second. There are actual people in the world who just want more power for themselves and less for everybody else. And my opinion on that is, even when I was a child, and you know how when we're children and we hear these stories and 
just anything like let's just say for example the power rangers and then you have rita and lord zed who wants to take over the planet and there and it's just these two people or it was it was like these two people and then they have like the goons in the background the putties and the other goons but it was uh rita and lord zed and basically what these people want to do is take over the universe i'm here to conquer earth and just as a child i always used to look at that as a joke and as a child i used to question it and i used to wonder what is the point in having it all don't leave you'll miss my coming out party that's when i destroy the nearest planet <laughs> Yes, I like it. Good. Woo! Then start! Start making putty patrollers! Yes, my queen. I'll lead them down and make the earth yours, Empress. Ha! I mean, it just literally made no sense to me watching this stuff because you have all this power. You have everything. You have all the power that you ever could dream of. You have everything that you could ever imagine having. You have it all. Now what? Now what? Now sit there and look fucking stupid. <laughs> it's just, you have all the power, now what? You have all the power, now what? You have everything, now what? It won't make you happy. It won't make you happy. These people will not win. When I'm spoiled and I get a lot of shit, I'm happy and I appreciate what I got, but something deep down in me knows that I'm not supposed to have all of this stuff. Not that I get a lot of things. I'm just saying when I do. Yeah, you just have to be humble, and I just don't understand how these people are s the complete opposite of humble. These people are greedy. And on top of that, again, with the video that I posted, it was a title like half of the human population, 49% of the U.S. citizens believes in conspiracy theories, and at least 49% of U.S. Americans believe that the government is literally trying to screw them over. That's a big number, and that blew my mind, and that's why I wanted to share it with you guys. So, if you ever think, like, oh, don't change, what's this about, like, what is this content, I'm still posting, this is just an update, and I'm still going to talk about veganism, I'm still, gonna, I'm still here for the animals, and that hasn't changed, it won't change. I think I'm repeating myself. So, I'll just let you guys go, and I'll see you later, I'll still be posting more content and more good stuff coming. It's just something to get the world thinking, you know, because a lot of this stuff I wasn't exposed to and I wish that somebody would have told me about it. So it's just you live and you learn and you keep learning.